Akron is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Bowling Green's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Get hard for a loss. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. And again, they provided great pressure on the play, and the offense just wasn't able to get the first down. Booming kick. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. taken down at the 46-yard line. You know, talking with the offensive coordinator this week, he told us that he has a lot of confidence in his quarterback to make good decisions. And when he feels like he has an opportunity to put the ball up, he knows the receivers that he can count on to be able to make big plays. That's another example of that. The receiver goes up in the traffic and makes a big play for a first down. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he's level at the 28-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. at about the 13. And they make the stop at the four. That'll make it second in inches. Touchdown, Zips. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 64-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Akron's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 41. Number 27 makes the tackle at the 41 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Go! Motion, motion, motion! Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That makes it second and ten. And he 
he's hit before it can go anywhere. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. He makes it on to maybe the 49-yard line. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an opening. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at the 19. Yard line. It's second down. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Green gets it to his tailback. He's tackled at the 12. This one should be makeable. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Just a mental lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still fourth down. It's up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Knocked out of bounds at the 29. That makes it second and six. Akron is up by four. Quick throw to the tight end. Big opening. And they push him out around the 36-yard line. Just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. You don't want none. Mike seven, Mike seven. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick strike to the receiver. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
The Zips are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Like this. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game of six on the That'll make it second and four. Seven yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. The Zips lead it 7 3. Set to resume action here in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Oh, excellent punt. A decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Akron is up four. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Fumble, loose ball. And they fall on the loose ball. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it to the 38-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Has some daylight. And he's tackled at positive yardage. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Fakes to the back. Caught him, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. And down he goes around the 45 yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it seven and six. Makes it to the 31. And it carries the ball for a nice game. 
make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down. Gets out to around the 12. That's a deep That'll make it second and inches. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and goal. And he's tackled around the 12-yard line. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. It's the 11th play of the drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of four. That makes his third and goal. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. So after the coach's challenge, the head referee is going to take a look at a few angles to see if the receiver caught the ball with at least one foot inbounds. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. Bowling Green is up two. And he hits the PAT. An 11-play, 54-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break eventually could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Got a man wide open, and it goes through his hands. Number 35 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. He really got a hold of that one. And down he goes at the 24. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. It's second and six. Ball on the 28. Bowling Green holds a field goal lead. And he's hit immediately. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. That's a gain of 10 on the ground. That makes it first and 10. He's 
knocked out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, second down. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's going right. They can't connect. Incomplete. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up. Looks long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Make the stop at the 35-yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Throws it in a hurry. And he's immediately tackled. The reception. Steps out at about the 45. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 45. Go, go! 225! Got it! Complete, he's out of bounds. He throws left, and it's the senior. Touchdown, Akron. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He makes the PAT. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now, 14-13. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. at the 42-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he is drilled at the 43. Fires it out. He's brought down in the open field. With the catch. First down. To the end zone. And it's intercepted. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. Akron with a one-point lead. He's out to the 30. 
Brought down right around the 36 yard line. We played a half of football here. The Zips lead it by one. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. That makes it first to 10. Akron up a point. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. From their own 43-yard line. First down. And he's sacked. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. him hard at the 34-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He gets it away. and This is a really nice punt. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Akron is up one. Now he's scrambling. He dives, and he'll be marked down. And he 
just gets rid of it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. From the 15, and he's tackled at the 21. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's taken down at the 29. Two times, two times. Third down. Third down. Third down. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. Out of bounds around the 46 yard line. That brings up second and one. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. So we're looking at another third down here. He's at the 30. And down he goes, right around the 12 yard line. Throws it and it's tipped away. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From the 12 yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They're at the three. Second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. The short yardage defense here. And he's tackled at the five. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Set, Oklahoma! Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number eight with the tackle. 26-yard line. Tight end, 
That brings up second and nine. Seven's Mike. Mike seven. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. He scrambled, and he's going to come up with a sack. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Here comes the pressure. He fires right. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route. But regardless, still great play by the defense. So at the end of three, the Falcons lead 16-14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Bowling Green holds just a two-point lead. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. Recovered by the offense. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. From the 45-yard line, first down. Got a man, watch out here. They'll bring him down at the 23. With the reception. Number 27 brings him down at the 23 yard line. First down. And they make the stop around the 12 yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. He's on the run. Tackle at the five yard line. And they got him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From the eight-yard line, it's third down. Bowling Green is up two. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. Steps out of bounds at the 22. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. Seven's a mic. That's seven. It's the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. Go, Jack. 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Makes the catch, and he might take it. Bites him off, and he is gone. Brought down near the goal line. Touchdown, and they take the lead. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two point conversion. Akron is up four. Unable to convert that two-point conversion on the ground. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Nice run, and he's brought down. Scrambling around. And he's level at the 44. Game of 12 on the play. First down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. And the delay, and he's brought down immediately. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Hey, we got to get this stop here, D. And he pulls it down. Brought down around the 26-yard line. Number 27 on the tackle at the 26-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. He's going to try and scramble. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Well, I think you definitely kick the extra point now. Then you let your defense keep them out of the end zone, and a field goal could bring them into overtime. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 23-20. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense.
He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third and five situation. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Quick out to his receiver. Just over a minute left. Check, 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 three, check, three, check, three. Makes the grab and out of bounds. It's complete for about four yards and a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. And he's taken down at the 46. That's, That's a loss of three, three yards, yards on the play. play. That, that brings, brings up second, second and 13. 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 46. He's out of bounds at the 43. Here's the eighth play of the series. play of this drive. Akron's going to take their first time out of the half. And he's stopped behind the line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, especially up in the NFL. Bruce football. It's scooped up. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 43. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.